A sad end today to the search for a suburban college student missing since last week. Today, police found Sheila Khalili's body in a pond near her Bourbon school. Good afternoon, I'm Rob Jones. And I'm Erica Sargent. CBS 2's Sandra Torres has new details on how Khalili's car ended up in the water. Inside this retention pond along I-57, that's where Illinois State Police recovered Sheila Khalili's vehicle. The 27-year-old nursing student had been missing since last Friday, May 5th. Police say a dive team found the vehicle around 3.30 this morning after a Kankakee County Sheriff's deputy came across a white side view mirror and a bumper with the license plate from Khalili's vehicle. Had that bumper not been found, we may never have found Ms. Khalili. Attorney Thomas Glasgow spoke on behalf of Khalili's family this afternoon. It gave them that closure knowing that she was not out there and they didn't have answers to where she was. Khalili was last seen late Thursday night, hanging out with friends in Bloomingdale. She then headed towards the Bourbon a area to meet up with other friends, but never made it. Authorities believe she somehow lost control of her car while driving on the southbound lanes of I-57. Then, tire tracks indicate the car crossed over the median and northbound lanes before landing in the pond. The circumstances and events that led up to this with the accident and the water being so close by um, lent itself to something that was extremely disconcerting for the family. And the family is currently in Bourbon A working with the Kankakee County Coroner to positively identify the body. And while they're asking for privacy at this time, they do want to thank all law enforcement agencies and everyone who shared Khalili's story on social media to help find her. Live in the newsroom, Sandra Torres, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. All right, Sandra, thank you.